Making these mistakes is stressful. So here are 10 trail ride tips that have saved me some stress that you might want to know before your next outing. First of all, I think it's very important to say that equitation out on the trails isn't everything. Don't sweat it or worry too much about your equitation. Nobody is judging you and trail rides are really just meant to be fun. So do whatever you feel is right and is best for your horse and don't worry about being too perfect. Just concentrate on listening to your horse and having a good time. And speaking of listening to your horse, it's also important that you try to keep a few feet between you and the horses near you, but honestly, it's okay if you get too close by accident. Just listen to your horse again and pay attention to their body language, their ear position, their tail swishing, if they're trying to move away from the other animals. They'll tell you and you'll know if they're uncomfortable or upset. Especially if you're going to be out for a long time on a long ride, make sure to bring supplies. I will always recommend that you keep snacks and water on you, as well as sunscreen and sunglasses if it's going to be bright. And from personal experience, I can tell you that you might also want to bring napkins in case of an emergency potty break. Speaking of supplies, while you're staying hydrated with your water bottle, also allow your horse the opportunity to drink if the situation arises. Especially on a hot day, it is ultra important to allow them to have the opportunity to drink. It's okay to go slow if you want to. Don't feel forced to trot, canter, or gallop if you're not comfortable or not ready or if you feel like your horse may not be comfortable or ready. Just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean you have to as well. Communicate with fellow riders on the trail about your comfort level and also about the hazards you see like holes, branches, and roadblocks. Let's open another hole on the ground. When you do encounter obstacles like creek crossings or hills, make sure to give with the reins and lean forward when going uphill and give with the reins and lean backward when going downhill. That'll make it easier for your horse to carry you since it keeps both of your centers of gravity aligned. If you're feeling a bit off balance, it's totally okay to grab mane or, if you have it, to grab the saddle horn. If you do fall down, which you won't, don't forget to be safe, stay calm, and make sure you're seen and heard by others on horseback. Raising your hands calmly, letting others know if you're injured, and announcing loose horse is very helpful for the other riders in your group that want to make sure that you're okay and that your horse is caught. In the event that you do make a dismount, planned or unplanned, it can be very helpful to have practice getting on from the ground, relatively unassisted if possible. You might get lucky, but most times there will not be a mounting block available when you're out on the trails. This may seem obvious for some, but in the interest of safety, please never go on trail rides alone. Always bring a trusted friend, a group of friends, or even just somebody with horse experience to walk with you on the ground. Even the most seasoned trail horses can unexpectedly become frightened, and in the event of an unlikely emergency, it's always best to have somebody to call for help. At the end of a long ride, your horses and ponies will definitely be tired. So make sure that you've brought the appropriate supplies to care for them, including fresh water, buckets, hay, especially if you're trailering, a poop scoop, and a muck tub so you can haul away their muck. And actually, if you are going to be staying for an extended period of time, say you're camping maybe, I also seriously recommend these uh, pretend fence posts as we call them. They're just plastic posts and electric wire that you can temporarily create paddocks or small fields for your horse to contain them while you also take a much needed break after brushing and maybe rinsing them if they need it. 10 poles and about 200 meters or about 700 feet of this wire can be picked up relatively cheaply from your local tax store for about $50. I certainly hope these 10 tips were helpful to you and the main takeaway from all of this is really that trail riding is just supposed to be fun so don't forget to do whatever you feel is right and is best for you and your horse. Happy trails and until next time, bye.